Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and I'm back at it today with a highly requested reaction video to Casey Zander. So many of you guys have asked me to react to him. I think he's been my most requested of all time, if I'm being totally honest. So I have watched a couple of his videos before after you guys requested him, but I've never seen this one specifically. So this one is, I witnessed female nature in action from women who hit the wall, parentheses, insane. So the title sounds pretty juicy and I'm anxious to see what he has to say. Um, um, but I also follow Casey on Instagram and I really like the stuff that he shares on his story. He's all about, you know, men taking accountability and bettering themselves, which I really like. There's no playing the victim, there's no pointing fingers, and I really like that about Casey. So I'm excited to watch this video. Let's get started. Uncle C, back in the office, and in this video, I'm going to be discussing how I witnessed personally what female nature at its peak, at its pinnacle, looks like in real life uh -oh. and in today's video not only am i going to be talking to you just one-to-one -one, man to man here about a real life experience but i got to witness specifically how women talk when they are with other women and there's no men around now here's what happened you guys know from my past vlog i was in florida before we even get started if you guys heard some of the things i hear women say to each other I mean, I'm sure it's the same. When a man is talking to another man, I'm sure he says some crazy stuff, but the same thing goes for women. I have heard women say some things that, appalling, truly appalling. So I'll let him continue, but just wanted to preface by saying, as a woman, I understand that women say crazy stuff. Florida. Now, when I was in Florida, I was at a relatively nice resort overlooking the ocean, down below on the sand, they had a tiki bar. Maybe if I archive some of these videos on the phone, I can even show it to you. And when I was at dinner, I heard something. I, actually, I heard a series of things that cannot be undone. And this series of things that cannot be undone is not only the truth of female nature and female dynamic today, but I think that this is a perfect representation of how modern women behave. Now, before we begin, fellas, what I wanted to say and address with this is obviously I'm drawing from my memory, which means I'm going to be needing to talk slower. I'm typically an okay speaker, but I might stutter through this one because I'm trying to draw out what I saw, what I heard, and what the true actions were. Now, let's actually dive in. There's three women that are sitting at this table, right? One of them is 35 and I heard her verbalize this. The other one is 31 and I heard her verbalize this. And the last is one of them who is a bit younger. I don't know if she's a tag along friend, but she's 23. The 23 year old has a boyfriend, okay? The other two do not. And I heard a variety of things from these women that got them to truly express what their thought process was in modern dating in modern relationships today. The woman who's 35 years old, and keep in mind, fellas, this is a woman who is probably a four at best. She is below her SMV peak, and she is on the decline, obviously, with age. She's talking about all of the work she's trying to get done with XYZ Botox consultant, the XYZ you know, plastic surgeon, that type of stuff. But not only that, she's, she's, she's specifically verbalizing to the other two women how there's just too many options to choose from. And she has this doctor in Manhattan that she sees, and she has this guy who she's in a long-term relationship with, and there's this other guy that she sleeps with on the side. I hate it already. I hate that people act like this. I really do. And sadly, this is the reality for a lot of women. Women have so many options. And I'm saying this very transparently as a woman who understands this. Women have so many options that then they are never happy with the option that they choose. Sadly, this is the reality for a lot of modern women today is that there's an influx of options and the options are all at our fingertips with the swipes on Tinder, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, t TikTok. I mean, it's everywhere. There are literally people everywhere. And so when people have more options, they tend to be less happy. There was some study done. I think it was with like honey at a farmer's market or something. I could be totally wrong, but there was some sort of study done where they gave people more options and then less options. And the people who had less options were happier with their choice. And the people who were given more options were less satisfied with their choice because they felt like they might've made the wrong one. Well, honey at a farmer's market or the man you're going to marry, women feel this way. 
and I see it all the time on TikTok, I see it on Instagram, I hear women talk about it, I see it literally everywhere. No one is happy with what they have, everyone is always looking for the next best thing, or looking for more, and maybe I'll do an entire video about hypergamy because I believe that it is an incredibly real thing, but it makes it incredibly tough for you guys out there, and in no way am I trying to, you know, villainize women or make women, you know, out to be the bad guy here, but I also think it's a huge struggle for men and women. Women are never happy with the choice they make, and men don't even have a chance. I mean, it's like a lose-lose situation. It's really awful. So I'm anxious to see as a society kind of the direction it takes, but even right off the bat here, I know this is very true. It's incredibly true. And this was normal speech coming out of her as if she was not doing anything wrong, as if there's no repercussions for her actions. And not only that, she had full intent to live out this pleasure as long as she could. Now keep in mind, this next woman who is 31, she's sitting there and she's talking about how she ended things with her recent fiance who was an attorney due to the fact that he was overwhelming her and she didn't know if she could handle this type of commitment. Now keep in mind, fellas, women are typically the ones who push for commitment. And what you're going to notice oftentimes is as you enter into some sort of relationship with them, not only do they still continue to keep those options from the past, but you're going to notice that desire drops significantly. And it's just because we live in an overstimulated world. We live in an overstimulated environment. Okay, here's where things get real interesting. The 23 year old woman is sitting there and she has a boyfriend and she's telling things how she, she's explaining to the other two women how things have been stable, things have been consistent, things have been good. And the other two women in her 30s are reprimanding her, are giving her hell, are raising hell at her for not exercising past options even though she set up a great world with this man. Now, the reason why I even make this video in the first place is because you know that I preach that men must do the work. You must make yourself a man of value. Okay, you must be doing the things that make you strong, make you dominant, make you powerful, make you masculine. But here's what you have to remember, fellas, is that if you let any woman into that world and she's not the right fit, she's not all about the game, you can tell that she has modern women type tendencies, it will not work and you're setting yourself up for a complete disaster. Oh my gosh. This is something I see a ton on social media as well, is women shaming other women for being in a happy relationship or doing something different than what they're doing. Because society has pushed this narrative of be single in your 20s and 30s and you know, you'll meet someone in your 40s or your late 30s and that might work out for some people. And that's it's wonderful that that might work out for a lot of people. But sadly, I think people are doing that and then realizing too late that they've waited too long or, you know, all the, the, all the great men are already taken by that point. And I'm not saying that you should be in a rush to, you know, get married and have babies, but like, be realistic. If a 40 year old handsome successful guy has the option to date a 40 year old woman or a 28 year old, who do you think he's gonna pick if they're exactly the same and the only difference is age or looks? they're gonna choose the 28 year old. That's the sad reality, okay? It's just the way that it is. And that's one of the huge issues that I have with feminism specifically is women shaming women who do things differently than them. Why are you shaming a woman who wants to be a wife and a mom? Why are you shaming a woman who is in a happy relationship and things are going well and she doesn't wanna sleep around with a bunch of people? Why? Because you're insecure about your decisions and you want her to make bad decisions too? Cause that's what it seems like. I don't get it. And he's right, guys. You can be a guy that is doing everything right, that is working on his purpose, and if you let the wrong women in, it will destroy you. The person you choose to spend your life with is the most important decision you will ever make. A woman in your life can make you or break you. I have seen men be incredibly successful because they have an incredible woman at home, taking care of things, being his support system, and also being an incredible woman on her own. Teaching men's fashion is a great example. He's young, he's married, his wife is beautiful and smart, they have a beautiful family, and he's thriving because he has an incredible wife. Can you imagine how much harder it would be if he was like sleeping around with a ton of women or had to date a bunch of women all the time? Or he had a bad woman? Huge decision. And if you're gonna work on yourself and make yourself amazing, you better choose someone who reflects that. Don't just settle because women have more options than you and you feel like you don't have options. I promise you, if you're a guy that is working on yourself, that is being the best that you can absolutely be, you'll have options. 
and you won't have to chase anybody or settle for anybody. And I would say, say the same thing to women. Don't settle. Nobody should be settling. Okay, oftentimes the, the person you get backstabbed by the most is the one who is closest to you, the one who you thought was the friend, the one who you thought was, you know, the, the, the perfect relationship partner or anything like that. But what you have to remember as a man is that your guard must always be slightly up, especially in today's day and age. And this is why I still stand true to my original statement that it stems from the men. Okay, you, you have the power to dictate if that type of behavior continues to happen. And how you do it is by understanding that if you put, choose to participate in the modern way of switching out bodies left and right every single weekend, you choose to play the game of chase, right? You choose to enter into that lifestyle, you're going to be hit with problems of the 99%. If you want to be full stack and have 1% or mindset, 1% or tendencies, that's going to take having the strength to do what only 1% of men actually have the balls to do. In order to save your well-being, nine times out of 10, you're gonna have to sacrifice your short-term pleasures, your short-term impulses, and not only that, your short-term lifestyle to actually have long-term success. Yeah, because instant gratification is a huge issue with men and women today. Everybody wants what feels good right now, and nobody's thinking about the long-term impact or consequences of the decisions that they're making. If you think about your life in a long-term way and you're not so focused on right now, right now, right now, you'll be so much better off. So many people say all these things that they want. They want a certain lifestyle. They want to make this much money. They want an amazing relationship, but they aren't willing to put in the work for it or give up or sacrifice anything. Because why? They want instant gratification. Huge issue with society. I might make an entire video about that as well because it's a problem. Now notice this message is very different from the typical. It's not modern women are garbage. It's not any of that. I'm not, I'm not, the, as soon as you go down that victimization rabbit hole, oh my God, the thank corrupt, you. you lose the power that you actually have to make a change and to do something different, which means you're going to have to be more clear cut and level headed than ever. You're going to have the strength that you're going to have the strength to actually get through this. And if you notice modern women are acting that way towards you or in any way, shape and form, that's the sphere of influence that you're around. You're going to have to fight tooth and nail harder than ever to have better screening qualities. Not only that, you're going to have to amplify your game and amplify your charisma because half the battle is just meeting enough women until you find somebody that you actually click and connect with. You have to remember compatibility is high on everybody's radar, on everybody's wish list. Regardless if you're high value or not, regardless if she's beautiful or not, there's a chance when you sit face to face, you're not going to connect with every single woman and you have to remember that, which means having that pipeline full in the beginning is an absolute necessity. So I witnessed female. Yeah, so you want to be a man that is being the best he can be so that you have the options that you want and you don't have to settle for someone that is not even a good fit for you or that you don't want. Be what you want to attract, guys. And what I love so much about Casey is the fact that he doesn't play the victim mindset. He's not saying, well, modern women are the problem. Maybe they're part of the problem, but it's important to take accountability and understand that you might be part of the problem too. If you're not attracting the type of person you wanna be with, are you the type of person that someone you wanna be with would wanna be with? And don't just point fingers and play the victim. And you don't have to bash women or talk bad about women or act like women are evil to get ahead and to get women. You'll be successful with women when you respect women, but you also respect yourself. And that's the biggest difference. I think so many guys get bamboozled because they aren't able to walk away from women that aren't good for them because they feel like they don't have more options and maybe they don't because they haven't bettered themselves to have the options. It's so frustrating. I wish I could help all of you. The more you work on yourself, the better you become, the better your options will be. It all starts with you. Female nature in real life. I witnessed how they talk about sex with their <laughs> with their female companions in real life, and not only that, I witnessed exactly how their thought process is in today's day and age. And what's going to happen is, as she gets older, as they get older, they maybe are going to be regretting <laughs> their actions, but that's for them to decide. As a man, you get to control who you let into this lifestyle and who you don't. If you like the video, I want you to hit the like. He's right, guys, and you know what? Every decision you make has a consequence. Whether it's a good one or a bad one, everything has a consequence, right? So if someone is making poor decisions now, it's probably going to come and bite them in the butt later, but guess what? That doesn't have to be your problem. 
let those people do what they want to do and you'll be on your own path and purpose and you'll be doing great. Keep doing your thing. Keep going after your purpose and your passions in life and bettering yourself. And maybe there are women who are happy being single who don't want to be in a relationship or ever get married and that's fine for them but I think a lot of women are putting things off and pushing things off thinking that they're going to have you know a million options available at their fingertips forever and sadly I just don't think that's the case. It might work out for some people, it really might, but the exception is not the rule. That was a really great video, and I think it did a good job highlighting, you know, some of the issues that are happening in modern dating today. And, you know, you can't control what other people do, but you can control yourself. So make sure that you're making good choices, because everything you do has a long-term consequence, whether that be good or bad. So you got to work on yourself. It all starts with you taking accountability and seeing things for what they are and not what you want them to be. So many guys on YouTube just make videos that are absolutely bashing women. And that's not going to help you because you're not taking accountability. Women make a ton of mistakes and women need to take accountability too. So it's just refreshing to see someone who gets it. So I would recommend that you guys unfollow some of the bitter, hateful men that don't have success with women and follow people like Casey. He's built a business. He has a beautiful girlfriend. He has everything going for him. And he's absolutely right. You guys should be following people who are living the lives that are an inspiration to you. If you want a girlfriend, you should be following a guy that has a healthy relationship. If you want, you know, to build your own business, you should be following a guy that has built his business and who is successful. If you want to be in good shape and be really fit and active, you should be following men who are doing that too. So many of these guys do not practice what they preach and they're bitter and hateful and resentful and it's obvious in their content. So it's refreshing to see a guy like Casey just be himself and try to help you guys from what he's done for himself. So anyways, to wrap it up, really love his content and I would highly recommend checking him out if you haven't already. I really liked this video and thought he did a great job. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you liked this video or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys on there as well. Let me know in the comments down below who you want me to react to next. Always love to hear your recommendations. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.